Hello, my Taurus friends. I'm Ulrich. I'm Learn Rumon card reader, and today we will do your classic Learn Rumon card readings. These card readings are very much into detail, so if you follow up till the end, you will have a lot of information for yourself for the month to come. Anyway, we will see uh, Taurus uh, where it leads for you here for the month of July. So here we go uh, with your uh, card reading, um, Learn Rumon card reading for the month of July. Hello, my Taurus friends. I'm Ulrich. I'm uh, I'm here for uh, for your card reading. Um, the card, the first card that you see here on your portrait is the Clovers. This is um, the lucky card of the deck, and you have the start in the, the stars in the central card. Also, this is uh, two very positive cards that we are seeing here. So coming back to the first card here, the Clovers, um, if you have certain questions in your life, uh, if you expect something, uh, certain possibilities in your life, this, uh, this card, it uh, answers your uh, query or your, uh, or your question in a very positive way. This is always a positive outcome. However, um, if you have made certain assumptions, how this whole thing will turn out, it will be positive, but maybe not in the way that you expect it to be. But anyhow, it will be positive, but not in the way you think or you anticipate it. But anyway, it's positive here what we are getting here. Um, anyway, we see here there's positivity here with this card here. Um, it's possible the result of what you're thinking may not as be expected, but actually later it could point out that this whole thing that you not expected, but is positive, is having a positive effect on the whole situation. So the, the a positive outcome is switched, but it's beneficial for you. That is what we are seeing here with this card. So it's actually a very uh, good card here, what we are uh, seeing here. Then we go to the central card here. We have the stars here. Um, here we see that uh, we need to have a positive, kind attitude towards others. Um, we need to be considerate also towards other people. If you have certain desires, you could uh, tap into them. Uh, it's also that we need to um, go for our desires, especially we have the, the Venus card here also. Um, so we need to tap in these desires if these are earthly desires. Uh, if, for instance, if you have physical desires also, sometimes we need to go uh, in this with a, with a certain partner here. Uh, this will be a positive thing. This is a balanced card that we are seeing here. That's the Venus card, the card of Taurus, actually. So this is a very positive thing that we are seeing here. Um, there is wish, wish fulfillment here. This is double wish fulfillment. So this is very positive here uh, in uh, certain prospects or aspects of your life. Anyway, if you are a, a person who has faith, who has religion, who believes in the stars or uh, whatever it is, uh, or who is very uh, devoted to their spirituality, this will also have a positive effect of, of you here. Certain dreams are literally materializing with this combination, whatever it is that you may have uh, wished for. If there are certain difficulties in your life here, these difficulties will be overruled and everything will uh, materialize here. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here. Um, you will also see in the future, you will get less tense, less stress. This is what we are seeing here also uh, with these cards. <laughs> Um, then uh, we're gonna go in the, we're gonna mirror the cards here. We're gonna mirror the clovers and, uh, and the cross. The, 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 the clovers and the cross here, uh, it tells us here that uh, probably you are about planning to have a leap of faith. You, you, have, you are about to um, put your, uh, your faith in something. It's like also this point sometimes to um, divine guidance, protection that is above us here. Um, if there are any problems before in your life, uh, these will be ending. Probably uh, you have been also in a, um, a psychological transformation. Something has uh, drastically transformed you because we have the coffin here. And the, the coffin is a transformation of our personality. This could be, uh, uh, this could be happen to you uh, because maybe uh, due to the lockdowns, maybe because of some loneliness, maybe some uh, personal psychological issues that you needed to work out for yourself. But this uh, actually, uh, we see here now that there is something upon us here that is protecting us. We are actually in the right way, uh, going where we need to bow, be in the right path of our life here. But uh, this might have been a hard time that you have been facing before uh, 
the coffin is a deep card. It's a deep transformation. It literally can go in the depth of our soul. So this might have been a difficult period for you that you have experienced. Anyway, um, you will take also certain decisions. Probably also uh, there is uh, some, um, some chance or some risk in involved. Uh, it's also important with the coffin that we assess these risks very wisely. So you should investigate, go into depth because the coffin is a deep card. So before you take certain actions, whatever it is in business uh, or whatever it is that you need to make decisions about, go in depth. Think about it. Overthink the consequences that are coming. It's very uh, important that we uh, do so. Um, don't shy away from responsibilities here, uh, but you need to think about it here uh, with this uh, combination of cards here. Also, uh, you will probably think about certain moralities uh, in your life here, uh, certain burdens that you have here. Um, if you probably you're thinking also about uh, probably there's also some a sense of responsibility in your life and you're considering if you need to take these responsibilities or need to let them go you will slowly consider this how these affect your life so it's important here that we overthink things very well here uh, it's possible also in the past you had some suffering and the suffering it made you wise up it made you it made you psychologically grow it uh, turned you into a different person this is what uh, we are seeing here then we're gonna mirror uh, the whip and the tree here in the bottom, uh, if there are certain obstacles to overcome in your life, uh, you will probably overcome them. The snake here in the middle, the snake is a very wise and diplomatic card. So it means probably that you will work out some plan. The snake is a card that moves if she's absolutely sure that it will be safe for her. If she feels threatened, she will not move. It's, a, 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 it's like a strategic card. It makes a plan. It makes wisdom. It's, it's, it, it, it sees in the future. And sometimes with the snake, it has very penetrating eyes. And it can see certain things in the future if a plan is worked out. Um, sometimes also the snake, it can be something that is returning because the snake is also uh, sometimes related to a circle that we are seeing here uh, with this uh, with this card. It's also a very energetic card. These cards that we are seeing here are very energetic cards. So if you are involved in a relationship or about to involve in a relationship, a sensual relationship, this is very strong. It's also very strong energy for focusing on growth because these cards are energetic card. This, this is a very energetic card here. The this is a very strong card for focus and this card that we are seeing here is our growth so you see everything is focused here on the slowly growth that we want to achieve and this is actually a good card in the thinking way of Taurus because Taurus they like to slow uh, growly, uh, slowly grow in their life so this is a very good card here for slow growers growth and um, progress and a good line that we are uh, seeing here with this combination of cards. What you see here also is that you probably have a certain problem in your in your life and you're chewing on this problem. You, you want to overcome this problem and you're thinking probably uh, out of it here. What could be a help for you is like, for instance, we go out for a walk. We need to clear our mind here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. But you could be a very energetic person. Maybe also your parents, your grandparents were very uh, energetic people. Maybe they were uh, maybe they were military. Maybe they were professional sports people like that here. Or they uh, could be somehow um, uh, related to the government like civil servants or lawyers notary this is what we are uh, seeing here uh, with this uh, combination later on we will go into the other aspects of the of the snake here um, anyway um, it's possible also that you feel a form of punishment this is what we are seeing here this could be a mental uh, punishment because we have the coffin there uh, that you are still suffering a little bit here uh, of that here um, with this combination of cards here. Um, anyway, uh, we could feel um, in certain parts of our life, we are literally restrained, like we cannot move because we cannot take the decision. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, then we're going to go in the horizontal lines. We have the rovers and the coffin here. Um, there will be delays, but uh, mostly for, for, for Taurus, 
if things go slow, it's not such a problem because they are uh, mostly they have uh, they have they like that things don't process or go too fast. So actually, you will see if certain things in your life are delayed and you think, is this never going to happen? It will. But the cross is also a protective card. So it means if certain things happen in your life, these, these delays or how you, what you experience as delays will be very beneficial for you. So if things not happening now, be happy that don't happen. They don't happen because it will be beneficial exactly why they are delayed. So this is a very good combination for that here. Don't try to force nothing because you need to see this as a positive sign that things are not moving right. It's important. It's not moving for now. Um, anyway, uh, we will, we, you will be able later on to end it. And there will be in this ending, there will, it will come with a form of responsibility that you are willing to take or not willing to take. So this is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination here of cards. Anyway, um, it's, it points also that we go to a next level. So you have learned a lot in the past and you are moving to the next level in your life. It, it's sometimes also, it's a spiritual higher up level that we are experiencing here. We going in the, in the next mental stage. This is what we are uh, seeing here, but mostly this is a positive combination, even though the coffin is not an easy card. Anyway, uh, there will be in this ending, that is ending this transformation, there, there, is, there is a seed of something new. This is what we are seeing here. Um, even if it's hard, in this hardship, there is something inside that will develop you and give you something to breed and something new you can develop. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have the coffin and the cross here. Um, it's possible in the past that uh, somebody has passed on, literally, uh, and it means that this person is still close to us. For people who believe in the afterlife, it's like this person is still watching over you. Maybe for some people, uh, sometimes uh, Taurus, they can be very sensitive, and it's possible that you sometimes have the feeling or you get chills or you think, and, it's, and, and you have the feeling, is this person here close to me? If you have this feeling, the answer is yes, because uh, we feel that sometimes upon our body. But it doesn't mean that you're not still grieving about previous situation. There could be some uh, grief involved here, some pain that you have, have endured before. And we sometimes we need to cleanse ourselves also from this pain that we are seeing here. You could have, uh, have a, a dark period before, really a dark period of your soul, but you have grown to it. It will give you a different perspective in life here, and you will slowly overcome this here. This is what we are uh, seeing here uh, with this uh, combination. Um, but um, it's possible also that this had put some pressure on you because the, the cross is heavy so we put pressure on us so you could have uh, put some pressure on on you here you could really have a diff difficult time if you have suffered a, lo a loss if you have suffered a transformation and it could also give you a different perspective on your spirituality or on your religion let's assume for instance that you were uh, very strong connected to your religion maybe this religion that you are involved in it no longer serves your needs. And this could be a transformation of religion or of spirituality. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. But it's possible also you are uh, confronted with uh, certain forms of self-sacrifice uh, that you are maybe willing to take or not willing to take. The choice is in your hands. This is what we are seeing here. But the, and the responsibilities will be put uh, upon you. If there were certain dogmas in your life, you will let uh, them go here. Uh, if you're, for instance, if your spirituality or re your religion, it weigh on you like, um, like a burden, you will let it go. And you will go into a different form of spirituality or a religion. And then we have the... Um, uh, we always need to remember the cards are possibilities. These are possibilities offered to you. They are opened up for you. So the choice is entirely up to you. Then we have the, uh, the second uh, uh, horizontal uh, line here. Uh, we have the heart uh, and the stars and, uh, 
and the bouquet here. The heart and the stars here, uh, there is a healing here from a difficult situation before. We will uh, be able to let go. Uh, there is a, also a big uh, form of relief here. It's like we literally breathe in a different way. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. There is also a happy connection with somebody who is close to you. This could be a friend. Um, or you still could feel a love connection with somebody who is passed away. This is what we are seeing here. But mostly since, since Venus is a grounded card, it's, it has its feet on, feet on the ground, it sticks and the tree is here also. It could also mean that there is another person in your life that we have a deep love, a serene love here with, uh, with this year. It could also mean that you hope that this person turns to be a real lover, a real part of your life here. And probably here with this combination, which is very good, there will be progress in this love life. Sometimes we need to let go of something and something beautiful here because this is a very beautiful line here. This is as good as it gets for our love life. Um, this is a very good combination for that. This person could really stick to our heart here. And the, the, the love has a spiritual side, but it's, it's a deeper love. It's not only the physical part, which it doesn't mean that the, that the love is not... Uh, physical, but it means there is a, a, a higher side to the love that we could encounter here. It's like uh, the whole thing here is improving. Also, um, if you go deeper in your spirituality, you could have the feeling that uh, everything around you is love, especially if you come out of this difficult period here um, before. You could be in a very romantic mood also, romantic daydreams we see with this uh, combination there. We hope or we have loving connections here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. And we hope that this love that comes in our life will last and it will stick. And probably with this card, there's a big chance here if you work this out in a good way, um, that it will end in a positive way for you. Then we have the stars and the bouquet here. Um, here we see that um, if on the work front, I didn't mention it here, there's a lot of creativity. We should be creative. We should publish. If you experience um, a, a very creative uh, period and you didn't expose or exhibit your work here, this combination, it encourages us to bring our work in public. If you don't know well how to do this, maybe you can uh, let assist yourself. And here we see it's time to publish your creativity, whatever that uh, may be. Uh, but there is a form of unique creativity here because this is a very creative card that we are seeing here. And it could make you grow. It's destined to be here, this growth that you are uh, seeing here. It's possible if you, um, if you uh, choose to uh, expose your creativity that um, it has, there is a form of a reward or award in it here. And, and you really could have made something that, that make you popular. There is a, something famous about it. Here, this is what we are seeing here. Sometimes this is that we created something that is unique, that can bring us, that we, can bring us fame, that can, get, that can make us make a name. This is what we are seeing here. It, it will improve your reputation in a positive way. It, there could be a, an award literally connected to it here. Um, if you do so, if you choose to go in exposing your work, you could be really become a celebrity or famous in this, um, in, with this combination of cards. It's like we need to fulfill something here. There's a longing here for fulfillment. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Also, this is a very friendly uh, combination that we are seeing here. We will be very amicable, friendly towards others. There's some charm, there's some diplomacy here. This is also a diplomatic card. So it's very good here for exposing your work because well, people will see there is substance in your work. There's depth in your work. There is it comes from somewhere. It can also mean that you get sometimes the reaction, uh, maybe not by all people, but some people will say, this work, it exposes a transformance. This is what we are seeing here. You could have uh, things like that here. Something has 
had an effect on you and you can use this in your creativity. This is what we are seeing, or you have used this in your creativity here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Also probably uh, with this combination, if you are uh, exposing something or if you want to expose something, you will do this in a certain style. There's a certain, this is a Venus card, so it has a style. So you will not, um, you will dress yourself up. You will uh, see if you, for instance, I'm just giving an example here. If you, if you uh, made a collage for something or if you have made work, you will see that everything is um, exposed in a very beautiful way. People always could have the, almost could have the feeling. It's like, like very well exposed. It's like they come in a, in a kind of heavenly environment and they really are in touch in what you show there. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Then we go in the third horizontal line. We have the whip, uh, the snake and the tree here. With this card, I said here, there's a lot of possibilities here in the love line. But with the snake, we need to be very careful. The snake is a very good card for focus, for, for, uh, for, for uh, achieving what you want, but also it might be with the snake that um, if you have a certain lover in your life, or if there is a certain lover coming in your life, that this person is still connected to somebody else because the snake always points to tree. So it means that this person or you are still involved or connected to somebody else. This could be to this person that you are still connected to this person that is passed away. I'm just giving an example here, or you are still connected from somebody uh, from before, or this person that you are meeting is connected to a third party. So with, with the, the snake, we need to be careful because we're still in the circle here. The, this is the circle of new beginnings and new endings. So there is a kind of connection. We need to be careful here if it's not us or if it's not the other party that is still connected to somebody else. It doesn't mean there is no possibilities. There are but still somehow there is a connection towards it. Um, anyway, uh, we could also be uh, here with this combination. Sometimes also um, some things in our life uh, could make us angry. This is uh, what we are seeing here. Maybe things are not progressing enough, but as I said, the delays will be beneficial if you have patience. This is what we are uh, seeing here. There will be also a lot of sensual, sexual energy that we are seeing here touching. This is what we are seeing here also with this combination. It's important that you don't burst out because this card is very energetic. You need to be diplomatic because these cards are all diplomatic and wise and psychologic. So if you get angry, you need to be diplomatic focus your energy in your work or in something else. Don't get angry because this, this, this is diplomacy. So if you apply, implement diplomacy, you will have progress. So it's no use here that we get angry. This is what we are seeing here, but there could be a lot of uh, creativity here. Uh, sensuality is uh, is very common with this uh, with this uh, with this combination of cards here. Sensual uh, creativity, sexual creativity. Uh, we could really come in a in a very high stage here um, in the sensual, in the artistic front. This is what uh, we are seeing here with this uh, combination. Also, sometimes it points that we are experiencing things that we didn't experience before in the sensual or in the artistic front, because we have the stars here and the stars brings us to a different level. So you could really have like an aha moment here in the sensuality, in the sexuality, in the creativity that we are exposing here. This is what we are seeing here. It's also important that we don't judge from um, a, a point of jealousy. It's not wise here to judge things from a point of jealousy. You need to be diplomatic because if you are diplomatic, the whole situation could take a turn. This is what we are seeing here. Sometimes we are tested. This is what we are seeing here. Um, you need to deal here literally with aggression in a wise way. It's very important here. And if you do so, the whole third thing will turn in your advantage. So don't be jealous, try to avoid it here. Uh, if there are some things here that need to be justified or you seek for justice, this is also a very good combination for that here uh, with this uh, combination.
sometimes in another way, if I see it in a different perspective, the cards always implement uh, several possibilities. Uh, there could be, um, we need to be careful here not to be manipulated. So this is also with this uh, combination uh, of cards here. Um, but uh, for instance, this is also a very good, good combination for people who are uh, need to judge a situation, uh, anti-violence things here that we are seeing here, meditation, this is uh, all possible here with this card. Then we have the a snake and the tree. Um, here we see a wisdom. Um, there could be a natural wisdom inside of you in your higher mind related to medication, to natural medication, natural healing uh, methods. Sometimes also uh, it's like we have a lot of um, knowledge of the books related to medication, to healing others. This is what we are seeing here with this combination here. Uh, this is not associated with the traditional medication that we find in, 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 the, in the industry. This is natural healing. So there could be a connection here for you, uh, the old fashioned way, the old healing ways. This is what we are uh, seeing here. But it's important again here that we are calm, that we are wise, that we are carefully na na navigate ourselves. Um, and if you do so, this is there is success here. If you uh, diplomatically surf between the problems, because the snake is very agile. So if you do this in a smart, wise way, this is very beneficial here. But you need, you will need to, you will need to be very careful. And if you are wise, success is at hand here. Um, anyway, um, also as I said here, you could have very good healing skills here uh, related to the old-fashioned ways. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Sometimes this points to healers, also uh, physical healers, masseurs, or, or things like that here. This is what uh, we are uh, seeing here with this combination. And if you overcome these problems that you are facing, you will go in a very positive uh, direction here with this uh, combination. If you are, um, if you recently uh, get, go to uh, for some blood work or whatever it is um, to, uh, let's say, to a lab or to a hospital, and uh, you get a result and you think, but this is not correct, what I'm seeing here, what this, what this physician tells me here, I don't believe this. It could be, you could be right. And here we see that it's wise with this combination to ask for a second opinion. So if you don't agree with the diagnosis that is given to you, ask for a, a second opinion. It's very wise to do with this uh, combination. We never know too much, so we are absolutely sure because this could be sometimes that the diagnosis is off or, or it's wrong or something happened, maybe with the blood sample or something like that here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. We need to keep ourselves uh, healthy also. Sometimes also if we experience health problem, it's best with this combination to go to the old ways, like uh, natural healing methods, herbs here, not go for classic medication. This uh, this uh, line here, it tells us go to the natural healing methods and you it will benefit you. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. But again, here we see the, the sensuality is, is, is here uh, back again also in this uh, combination. Um, and also we need to be aware that the healer that we that we implemented or that we that we consulted is has the right skills so be aware of that also um, maybe something is missing there this is what we are uh, seeing here Again, as I said here, uh, on a different point of view, this is the triangle relationship here, the second woman, the second man here that we are seeing here. So be careful also with, uh, with this combination, but probably you will see it. But it will be important the way you act and react on it. This will be crucial. So don't act, react in an aggressive way. If you're smart, it will be beneficial for you. Anyway, uh, it's possible that this person has been in your life before that you have a confront had a confrontation with this person before and and it could be really confronting for you this is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination but it also points to a person with wisdom intelligence forbidden knowledge that we have knowledge that is not available for classic works that is not classic uh, it's like um, a knowledge on the higher level that we are seeing here. There's a refinement here, sophistication, clever, cleverness here. If you, if you orient yourself 
on your goal. This is very positive, as I as I said here with this uh, combination of uh, of cards here. Don't destroy if you're building something. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Um, then we're gonna go for uh, the vertical lines. Uh, we have the clovers, the heart, and the whip. Um, here we see that uh, certain love wishes um, materialize here. Um, our hopes are materializing. I get the same confirmation uh, here again here. The, we have luck with uh, sentimentality, sentimentality, sentimentality here. Um, we win or we can win somebody's heart here. Um, uh, we find a new love, this is possible also. Um, if there are certain opportunities, don't doubt forever, especially on the love run. Sometimes we need to take, with the stars here in the middle, we need to take a leap of faith also. Don't shut yourself off. Um, sometimes this person is there and um, it's possible that this is the right person for us. Of course, um, it's all, uh, of course, how you perceive it, but this is actually a good combination for going into something new. When your heart says yes, you should take this opportunity. Uh, we never know what comes for it if we approach it in a diplomatical way. Then we have the heart and the whip here. Um, it's possible that, um, as I said here, this is a love quarrel. So again here, you will need to approach it in a diplomatic way. You need to let it go here. This is what we are seeing here. We need to be forgiving. It's, it's wise if we are forgiving here. This is resolution. So if you resolute with your partner, it will have a positive effect and you will go to a next level, but don't get angry here. This is not the wise way uh, to do here with this uh, combination, but the arguments, you could be confronted with a fierce argument and you can have an argument, but it's not wise to break up before you have looked at all the angles because this is looking in depth. So here, uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination, but there will be, uh, there could be arguments, but there is also a lot of physical attraction and it could confuse you because the attraction to this person is so strong here. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes also this points to other forms of love making, whatever this may mean to you, different forms of love making, love making we didn't have before that we didn't experience in this way. Uh, as I said here, there are some aha moments possible here with this uh, combination. Um, it's possible also regarding to business that you attract very, um, how to say this, very disciplined people. So here, if you if you want some people who need to, for instance, if for your work, uh, you want to expose or you want to involve uh, somebody in exposing your work, um, they, they could be very disciplined here. This is what we are seeing here. And maybe that's exactly what you are um, uh, looking for. Sometimes also with this combination, we are very, um, criticizing towards our lover. This is what we are seeing here. So be careful here that you are not too over criticizing here. Um, but it, if this happens here, we have the possibility of reconciliation. This is what we are seeing here with this, uh, with these cards together. Um, anyway, if there were harsh words before with the lover, you will be able to forgive each other because probably the passion is very strong here. This is what we are uh, seeing here, but it doesn't mean that our uh, heart is temporarily broken, but it can be mended here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. You will forgive and forgive and you will be forgiven. This is what uh, the card tell you. Then we go in the second line, we have the coffin, the stars and the snake, the coffin and the stars here. Um, as I said here, your wishes will be granted, but there will be some delays, so don't force it. Um, uh, also, we need to see that we breathe in a healthy way, that we have enough air, open air, don't lock yourself off. This is not the combination that we need to lock ourselves up. Uh, we need to have a healthy mental breathing and also a physical breathing. So go out, go to a forest, take a walk in the forest, see that your lungs have fresh air. It's very important here with this combination. But we see here again, the, the, uh, the changes that we have been undergoing that they literally bring us to another level that they could have a very positive effect on our creativity here. It doesn't mean it's easy, but this transformation really can lead you in a, in a, in a, in a new direction. This is like um, you following your own star. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. Uh, sometimes for some people, 
you could have very strong paranormal feelings. Um, like for instance, you, it's, it's common with this combination that you feel the other side, people who have passed away, you feel what you should do. You are very much in touch with that here, with this uh, combination of cards. There are like strong pre-feelings possible here. Uh, it's like you have a feeling also what could be happening in the future here. This is what we are seeing here um, in the media. What is about to come? What is the world to become? It's possible that you make a painting and, and this painting involves literally what is coming in the future. So in this way, if you make works, they could be revealing for the future. This is what we are seeing here. And this is something that comes from our higher self. This is what we are seeing here. But it is uh, healing, revealing here for you. This is what we are seeing here. We need to use our own potential here with this uh, cards. Then we have the uh, stars and the snake here. Uh, we, uh, if we focus on our goal here, we will achieve the goal that we want here. Um, there will be also what is also possible with this combination because if you are a very creative person, you will be confronted with envy. People will uh, be jealous or um, they will be envious in the way you present your work. Uh, it's like that. Sometimes we are confronted with that here. This is what we are uh, seeing with this uh, combination of cards. Anyway, uh, again here also we will be probably confronted with certain morals. Do we cross certain borders or do we not cross them? There will be feelings for crossing certain borders, whatever uh, whatever this may mean to you. This could be sensual borders that we cross here, uh, artistic borders that we are crossing. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination. Sometimes also with this combination, but I mentioned this early before, it's possible that you are confronted with a spiritual or religious leader that is no longer in your in alignment with you. Or this person, there's something tricky about the person. So be careful also. If you have the feeling that this person is tricky for you, probably your feeling is correct. This is what we are seeing here. We need to be careful here that we don't get in contact with the wrong spiritual leaders. This is uh, what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. Or this spiritual le leader could be two-faced. This is what we are seeing here also with this combination. Uh, sometimes this literally points to people who don't have... Um, who don't have the, the right morals for going in a certain directions in your lives. Be careful here that you don't engage in that and you don't fall to pray for that. So here, this is also uh, a gift here of the cards that we are getting. And then we're going to go in the third vertical line here. Uh, we have the, uh, the cross, the bouquet, and the tree. The cross and the bouquet here, it tells us here that we forgive, we forget. We move on here. Also, we will feel a little bit vulnerable here with this combination. We will get more faith in ourselves because this is the, uh, the line for the future. There will become more faith in our life here. This is what we are seeing here. We are also able, if, this, uh, if the difficulties that you had here, you will maybe you are observe yourself as to be more kinder or people tell to you, you are kind now. It's something like it's changed inside me and you are softer. This is what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards here. Um, anyway, uh, it's also, as I said, your, val your values will be tested here um, with this combination of cards. If uh, you are, uh, this card sometimes also, it points to widowhood so or, or a widower. So it's possible maybe that you lost somebody in the past that was close to you. This is what we are seeing. Of course, it will not apply. I'm just mentioning here that this is a possibility. Anyway, um, it's also wise with this card that we present ourselves as likable. We need to see it as our duty. And if you fulfill the duty of being likable, it will have positive growth for you. This is what we are seeing, even though it's not easy sometimes. This is what we are uh, seeing here. Um, anyway, um, it's possible also if you help somebody in the past, that this person shows appreciation towards you. And maybe you have shouldered somebody and now you get the appreciation of this person. This is what we are seeing here. It's possible also the person that you helped before, even though it's not a financial help, that you receive some, some kind of shouldering from this person. 
maybe not necessarily financially, but it's possible. But this person somehow helps you grow. So it's like here, the cross, sometimes it repays. We were tested before, and now we get the repayment. This is what we are uh, seeing here. But uh, we could also make other people's suffering more easy. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, and the universe always balances itself out. So later on, um, you will get positive effects of this here. Even though you have had or have a difficult time before, you will see that you present yourself in the best possible way. People might not see or might not be able to see what is going on inside of you. This is what we are seeing here. Then we have the bouquet and the tree here. Um, also, our lifestyle can improve with that. We could eat differently. We could eat more healthy. This is what we are seeing here. We could uh, put a very big accent on that here. Um, we, we spent or we are thinking about spending time in the outdoors. As I said, this will be have a positive effect on you. It could be that you go in a, in a, in a tree area, uh, a forest area. Um, this is what we are seeing here because we have the trees here uh, that this is what we are seeing and it will heal it will heal here this is what we are seeing here it will have a positive effect on you it's possible also that if somebody is close to you a lover or a partner here that you go with this partner here um, to this uh, forest this relaxation environment this is uh, what we are seeing here but uh, th this is also friendship is growing into something substantial because this is the venus, venus card and venus, venus likes to stick so she likes to stick to things this is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination anyway um, this is uh, it's possible also i didn't mention that earlier this is also a returning card and it's possible that somehow this person is returning to you from the past. For people who are into that, this could be somebody that is returning out of your life, out of a previous life, or somebody that you were already intertwined in your life before is returning. And there is still the attraction because Venus attracts here. Um, anyway, this uh, friendship can grow into a love here. This is what uh, we are uh, seeing here. There could be some flattery. Uh, both parties flatter with each other here. They give each other compliments. The environment that you are in could be very satisfying for both of you here. This is what we are uh, seeing here. There will be a lot of beauty because uh, cute, there is beauty here uh, that we are seeing here. Um, it's possible that you that you both want to be in a beautiful environment. This, this points to, like, for instance, we rent something here, uh, maybe temporary for, for, for our environment, for relaxation. And the environment is really nice. We really like where you are here uh, with this uh, combination of cards here. It will make also your attractive for the other party and the other party will make themselves attractive to you. This is like a connection of beauty and sensuality that we are seeing here. Sometimes also jewelry is involved here with this uh, combination. The, the friendship it can become very sticked and solid here. This is what we are seeing here. This is like a healthy tree that uh, uh, growing. It's it's becoming in bloom here. Uh, you will see here also that the right colors are upon upon you. Sometimes this is aroma therapy, color therapy that we are seeing here. So it's it probably a lot of details, creative de de uh, details that will be important here. You want this thing really to grow. Uh, if this is about relationship, if it is about arts, the same applies here. You will see that you use the right colors, the, the right shapes, whatever it may be here. This is what we are seeing here. Also, we will see that um, probably we want to be nice dressed up, the, the right scent, uh, the right perfumes here. This is what we are seeing here. We will do our very best here to look in a natural way, very beautiful. This is what we are seeing here um, with this uh, combination of cards. Sometimes also, uh, it can point that uh, if we are more experienced in life, that we receive a gift from, body, from somebody who's close to us. And the gift is not only beautiful, but it's also very practical. Or we give a beautiful, practical gift to somebody else. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. And this could be something that this person is very useful for this person or for yourself on the long run because this, the, the tree makes us grow. This is what we are seeing here. This, these are usable, uh, practical gifts that we are seeing here uh, with this uh, combination of cards. Anyway, if you had any issues, health issues before, and if you use natural healing ways, we see this here again, uh, this will be worked out. There will 
come a more uh, spiritual balance in your life, especially if you consider or if you um, if you go to a quiet, uh, relaxing forest area, a remote area. Uh, this is what we are uh, seeing here. Then we see if we can add something with the cross here, the clovers, the stars. Uh, and uh, a tree here, a very positive combination. So this is double positive, as I said here, a double positive growth. If you if you handle it the diplomatic way, this is double positive growth that we are seeing here, protection over the long run. You need to trust your luck. The, the stars are, uh, are in your side. This is what we are seeing here. Um, there might be certain risks that you are taking uh, with this combination, but uh, see that your risks are calculated. Um, then we have the stars and the tree um, with the events unfolded as we want them to be. Uh, healing will come here. Um, if you hoped for, for things that become positive, sometimes here this points that we are confronted and we experience this as my God, this is really what I hope for. This is what we are seeing here also. It's like you experience this as a higher form of a gift. For some people, they could witnessing some extraordinary things here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination um, of cards. Anyway, if there is a special direction uh, needed in your life, it will become clear for you. After all this period of testing, your uh, path in life will become very clear for you here. This is what we are seeing here. We are very uh, flexible also um, with this combination of cards. Uh, what is also possible with this combination that we are a practical person ourselves here. Um, and that um, for instance, we have a vehicle that is very practical. This is almost like we have a vehicle that we can use everywhere, like a, a four by four or something like that. Or maybe we are confronted with that, or maybe um, our, our lover suggests that it, the, 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 the vehicle would be like, Amphibic. You can use it everywhere. This is what we are seeing here. This is the practical things here uh, that we are seeing here. Um, it's almost something out of uh, that something higher becomes practical and we can use it in daily things here uh, with this uh, with this combination uh, of cards here uh, with uh, that we are uh, seeing here. Anyway, it makes you also uh, very sensitive, as I said, for the higher forces. Uh, Media make this is what we are seeing here with this combination very intuitive. Your senses will be very uh, developed, will be becoming more uh, developed, probably because of the heavy period that you have uh, had before. Sometimes also this combination here can be that we um, that we go to a clairvoyance, that we go to an astrologer for knowing certain things in our life. This could be possible also that you do that here. Um, you you know the direction in life where you what want to go and this will be a good chance here on stable success for uh, yourself here you will could really feel connected to the cosmos here to the whole cosmos um, sometimes also i didn't mention this here um, if you are not an in, uh, if you are not an artist literally you could be an inventor and you could literally invent something that is important for the future for a bigger group of people this points also sometimes to inventions. Um, it's like we, we produce something here that is important here with this uh, combination of cards, but it will be practical. There is a practical touch here to what we do. Um, there's a down to earth thing to it. Um, what we see here, uh, we also will be very careful with our health alternative medication. We already saw this here. There's a lot of vital life energy, strong genes that we are having here. Uh, also, you could feel a lot of energy coming to you at night. Uh, if you, for instance, a lot of artists work at night and you could really feel that your creative energy is coming to you at night. This is what we are uh, seeing here. You will also wish if some certain things about your family has been hidden, you probably start digging into it. You want to find where this is coming from, especially uh, with on the artistic or are the inventors of the front. Maybe you ask some questions, maybe because this mostly it points to inventiveness, creativity, um, that comes from the roots that comes out of uh, out of the 
the past generations, this is what we are seeing here. But it doesn't mean that these people have executed, but maybe you start investigating exactly where this is uh, coming from, or maybe this astrologer, uh, he tells you uh, it comes from there, from your grandfather, from your grandmother in this and that. So maybe uh, this is what you uh, are about to do here with this combination. If we have an alternative profession, we will be very focused on this. This is not a combination for classic uh, jobs. This is alternative jobs here that we are seeing here, not uh, regular jobs here. Um, a lot of people have experienced a change in job and it's possible that this new thing that, that you are doing is very different what you have done before. This is not the path that you have walked before, but it, the change will have probably been very hard. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination. It points also to a lot of intelligence, what we are seeing here with this uh, combination of cards here. Um, you will develop your higher self better here. Uh, we need to say that we stay with our feet on the ground, but of course we need to use our creativity, but we also need to see that we keep our feet on the ground. Um, there will be a lot of spiritualism, intellectualism here that is connected to pragmatism here. I always come in the same here. Um, um, breathing is important here. Uh, you, If you have somebody that is close to you, you will really want to body up with this friend. This is not only sensuality, sexuality, but you really want to feel that this person is your body also. This is what we are seeing. As I said, this could be an ex-partner, an ex-girlfriend here uh, that is returning because there are returning cards here. Uh, what we are seeing here, past connections are coming back here. Um, this is also that, um, as I said here, you will really experience aha moments in your personal life here. This combination, it actually means that heaven and earth come together. So uh, if this means maybe this brings more clarity to you. Then we go in the other line. Um, then we have the cross, the stars and the whip. The cross and the stars, uh, things are fulfilled. We already had that. Um, there will be forgiveness in your life. Um, there will be tests. You will test your own fate or you will test how um, astrology can, I always come here in astrology, how, how astrology can serve you as a higher means. Uh, this is what we are seeing here. You want to implement it in your life somehow uh, or you, you want to implement card readings in your life or you rely on card readings and, 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 and astronomy and astrology. This is what we are seeing here. Uh, what we are seeing here with um, you will have trust in your fate. Uh, then we have the stars and the uh, whip. Uh, the stars and the whip here. Uh, if there was an issue before, the harmony will be restored here. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this combination of cards here. Uh, there's a lot of creativity going on here um, with this combination of cards here. Um, also, it's possible with this combination, I didn't uh, mention that angle, it's possible before you execute your work or before you expose it, you ask for criticism, but don't let you hold back Whatever criticism is that you are receiving, don't hold back your work because not all people are able to see what you have created. But it doesn't mean you cannot ask for criticism. But if we ask a question, you get the answer. And the answer might not always be what you are looking for. But it doesn't mean you need to stop your creativity or uh, make it public. This is what we are uh, seeing here with this uh, combination of cards. Um, also, it's very wise with this reading that we are not experience ourselves as punished. We need to see this as something that we receive for moving on, because this is that we receive the gift that we have undergoing some changes, but we need to help ourselves and move to the next level that is creativity. This is what we are seeing here. Um, I think this is all for Taurus. I hope you get a little bit wiser out of this uh, Learn Roman card reading. It's a very positive thing if you approach it in the right angles. Anyway, uh, Taurus, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for considering uh, subscribing to my channel. If you are interested in uh, 
uh, financial card readings. I also have financial card readings. They're very short. Uh, you can find them also on my channel. And of course, we have then the spiritual card readings. They are actually literally uh, guiding cards and you can find them also. Anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and see each other next time. Bye-bye from Abdoris.